Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are actually about three and a half hours south of Chicago in a small town called Casey, Illinois. And what's their motto, Becky? They are the big things in a small town. Big things in a small town. According to the Guinness Book of World Record, they have the it, it's the largest the the largest amount of large things yes. in, one town. in one town in all of the world. So they have the world's largest things stuff. and stuff. And we're gonna see some of that world's largest stuff. So or it may not be the world's largest, but it may be very big. Very big, but from what I have read. Well, I think some of the things aren't the world's largest. They might not be, but there's a few things that I know for a fact are the world's yes. largest. So oh, I agree, but I don't think everything is the world's largest. It just is very large. Gotcha. So, but let's go on to, uh, to see some of these big things in Casey, Illinois. So we are going to start our day in Casey for the search for the world's largest stuff right here at the Casey Candy Depot. Inside, we have the wooden shoes, the world's largest wooden shoes. And the world's largest mailbox is over there. Let's check out these wooden shoes. Now inside the candy store there. That is some big wooden shoes right there. So you cannot get in the wooden shoes. But look at all the money down in there. Yes, and the money thrown into the wooden shoes for good luck will be donated to the Casey Food Pantry. Please do not get me no, nice. I need some money. So let's, to get you an idea of how big these shoes are, girls stand right there. Look at, look at the size of those shoes. And there's another shoe behind it. I mean, there's two pair, it's an actual pair of shoes. Emerson, what are you doing? Oh, well, you're going to give put a dollar in the wooden shoes for the food pantry? Sounds good to me. For good luck. Upstairs to see the wooden shoes to, to the Christmas stuff. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go upstairs and check out their Christmas shop. Believe it or not, this is an elevator. Yes, and it's rope driven. How about that? So this is their Christmas. Yeah. We got a little kid shop up here. Look at the toy barns and the boats. But look at they got the nutcrackers up here. That part's squishy. It is squishy. And then this is like weird. Like, but they are Christmas ornaments. They're cupcakes. They kind of they. <laughs> Hmm, no. <laughs> they don't smell like cupcakes, but they're squishy. They're soft. There's a squishy. And look, they got, they got lolly. One, Daddy. They got a chocolate one, too. Right there. It's But look, they got lollipops and candy-looking mm. ornaments. It is very pretty. Casey is a very pretty town. Look it. It is the world's largest mailbox. Oh, my God. And that is confirmed by... <laughs> Okay. The Guinness Book of World Records. And you can go inside of it. See, and so the, these are the big things. So these are big things. These are the certified world's largest items. So yes. Look, they have a bunch of world's largest. Okay. Well, let's check out the That's world's beautiful. largest mailbox. Okay, we are now going up inside 
the world's largest mailbox. Now the world's largest mailbox is actually, it's open from eight until five, I believe at night. And at five o'clock, this mechanism right here pulls up the door. I'll go down and take a picture of you guys. Okay. But here we are on top of the world's largest mailbox. Over there is the pencil. And there is a bird cage over there. And we can actually go in the bird cage. And there's the rocking chair. The rocking chair is way off in the distance there. And if you were curious, yes, you can mail letters from the world's largest mailbox. You yourselves are our letter, written on our hearts, known and read by everyone. That's a nice Bible verse from 2 Corinthians. So here's a shot of the outside of the world's largest mailbox. So yeah, we're gonna take a walk across the street. It's not the world's largest bird cage, but it is just a very big bird cage. And we pardon the noise, but we got some motorcyclists here. Becky's giving some some directions on how to get to another town. But here is one of the big things in town. It is a big bird cage. And there's the girls inside. Hi! Let's shut the door on them and lock it. No. <laughs> Start swinging. <laughs> I don't think it's the largest, it's but... Big, it's called, it's on the list. It is? Yeah. It's not the, it's not the largest, but it's, it is. It's not it's the largest, minion. but it is a big minion. So we go see it. And here in front of the store with a very clever name, Dollar and Cents, <laughs> is not the world's biggest, but a very big minion. And the minion is actually proclaiming on its pocket big things smalltowns.com. We can buy Amish goods in here. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> there is a very big minion. I'm gonna selfie the minion. So. And here is a very, very big number two pencil. Here the girls okay. are posing for a picture of them holding up the big pencil. <laughs> you are not allowed to climb. It's breakable. It is breakable. And they did put a piece of plexiglass so you couldn't break the or piece of lead off. Yourself. That is one big pencil though. Once again, not the biggest, but a very, very big piece of corn. It's made out of wood. It's made out of wood, it's and the cactus, which is across the street, is made out of metal. So we are going into the yarn studio, and we are going to see the world's largest knitting needles. There they are. Thank you so much for all Now here is the interesting fact about the world's largest knitting needles. To obtain the record, to obtain the record, Jeanette was required to cast on 10 stitches and knit 10 rows of material. Each needle weighs 25 pounds. It's a crochet hook. Yes. It's a crochet hook. And this is the crochet hook? Yes, look at it. And there is a crochet hook. 
And that is the world's largest crochet hook. I know how to crochet. I know you don't know how to crochet. You learned in uh, crochet club at uh, school. I never knew. But there is a, there's the documented photo of of them actually requiring or of uh, obtaining the world's largest knitting needle record. That is awesome. Hey! So, hi, Jeanette. This is the owner of the knitting store that we're in, and she is the one that actually did the world's record. Absolutely. So, with those 50 pounds worth of knitting needles. <laughs> that is crazy. So, yeah. that's awesome. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. All right. <laughs> in a few spots around the town, they have these totem poles, or like the direction signs. It tells you where everything is, like the world's largest golf tee, world's largest rocking chair, the world's largest wind chime, the world's largest pitchfork, big thing small town workshop, and the world's largest wooden shoes. Oh, and let's not forget the world's largest knitting needles and crochet hook right inside the yarn studio. Well, it's a big bike sculpture. Ooh, a bubble machine. And right behind the Casey City Hall, around the corner, lies the world's largest rocking chair. Holy smokes, look at the size of that thing. That's a big rocking chair. That is one big rocking chair. Emerson, you won't climb up there so I can take your picture? My goodness. How about you, Viv? No? The sheer size of this, folks, is unreal. Look at the size of the girls in front of this thing. That is a big chair. Just next door to the Whittling Whimsy Cafe are the world's largest wind chimes. Holy moly. And you can play the wind chimes. Give it a pull there, Em and Viv. Lighting or filming? <laughs> what was that? They're not quite as melodic as the ones that we have at home. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to check out the big things in a small town workshop. And they're open. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Good. That is a very big gavel right there. <laughs> And that baseball bat. Got a big baseball bat. Looks like a cricket bat over there. Yeah. Right. This is the workshop where they create some very big things. Well, I was saying something, but I had to stop filming because in, in the streets, as you're walking uh, in, in the town, they actually have music playing over loudspeakers. Um, 
and it's all copywritten music. So, but it's music from the 50s and 60s, early 70s. Um, but it's it's kind of nice. But uh, but because of copyright things, I couldn't put put that on YouTube. But I was basically just saying what a lovely little town it is. Um, but we are on our way to find uh, a few more of the largest things in the world, but we have to drive there because it was too much walking. So uh, let's go on to find a few more things. So here we are on Main Street. There's the pencil. The stuff on the Corn. The cactus. Cactus. The knitting needles are in there. Knitting needles are there. There is that gigantic, which is so impressive. Uh, rocking chair, wind chimes are over here on this side. And we are now on our way to go see the world's largest golf tee. And here at the Casey Country Club is home to the world's largest golf tee. Wow, that is big. They do have a observation deck up here. So we'll, uh, we'll go up there and take a look from up there. And here's the view from above and is located on the 10th hole, which is a par five here. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if you walk <coughs> So unfortunately they had no t-shirts available. Their shipment was supposed to come in on Thursday. It is now Saturday and they are still without t-shirts. So I did not get a t-shirt today, but we did get our large world's largest, world's golf, tea largest golf tea magnet. Very cool. All right, let's start up the car because it is very hot. It's Steamy. almost in the 90s and located just outside of town is the world's largest pitchfork. That is big. And here in front of the Pretty Petals and More store, there is a very, very large yardstick, but apparently not the largest yardstick in the world. But still, very, very big. But it doesn't. So the very large yardstick, it looks like the inches are actually feet. So it is 36 feet long, so this yardstick is actually 12 yards. 12 yards long. How about that? That's that's very impressive and very large. It's the 12 yard yardstick. <laughs> and here in front of the antique store, we have a very large top. Once again, not the largest top in the world, but still, big things in a small town. That is a very big top, and it spins. Oh my goodness, 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 look at that. Okay, so that was Casey, Illinois, the small town with big things. How, how fun was that town? It was a lot of fun. Really fun. That is a lot of fun. So uh, if you're interested, uh, go on down to Casey, Illinois. Uh, so like I said, it's about three and a half hour drive just straight south of Chicago. Um, but we had a great, great time. So if you like what you saw, give us a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck are the Albans? Bye! Bye.